Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Z here, and in this video today I'm going to be reviewing this mouse by Logitech, which is a G305. It's the Logitech G305, and I've used it off and on for about, I would say, about a year. I just recently started using it again only because I tested out some of the other mice that Logitech has to offer. Um, more specifically, the Pro Wireless Mouse with eSports... I think something like that and then I also tried the G703 as well. Both mice were very good mice I have to say right off the bat but some of the things that I didn't like about them were the fact that they were a little bit chunky and I do like using smaller mice. Another thing I didn't like about those mice in particular is the fact that you have to keep recharging it once the battery runs out and the battery does run out after about using it for about a half a week. Sometimes you're playing and then you lose battery and it just whatever. I just find it extremely inconvenient especially when I'm in the middle of a game and I lose power to the mouse and this does happen quite frequently. I get about a half a week of battery power within the mouse and then I have to recharge and again I do play Warzone quite a bit so this does happen quite frequently. Honestly I just find that I'm plugged into the power most of the time and then it's kind of that whole why am I using a wireless mouse if I'm connected to a wire type of thing and then you get the cable stuck on the mouse pad when you're trying to do the quick swipes and all that. Um, yeah it's just not very convenient honestly and it's just I don't know for me personally I didn't like it it didn't suit me. So these three mice that I'm gonna be talking about or rather I'm gonna be speaking mostly about the G305 and what I like about it is the fact that it's very small it gives you that option of swapping out the battery as soon as it's drained which is quite convenient it uses a double a battery and I just find that I have a lot of these laying around the house you could also put in a rechargeable battery if you want and just swap it out for another one but I just find that buying a bunch of energizer batteries and then swapping it out once it's done which by the way these batteries last or rather this mouse takes a while to deplete the battery so it takes about three to six months um, I'm giving you a rough estimate here but I rarely have to s switch out this battery and it just it feels like that at least and for those wondering I do use the 1000 polling rate on this mouse so that's the maximum performance another thing I really like about this mouse is because I use the claw grip I find that small mice suit me, or rather small mice suit me a lot better than the larger chunkier mice. Just because also I do have a smaller table. And my play style I've noticed over the years is a very tight play style. Which means that I don't use a lot of space when I play. I know this is probably a huge issue for some people. I know in one of my videos they were commenting how small my mouse pad was. And just, but that's just the way I play. That's just how I'm comfortable playing and everybody to their own. You know what I mean? I also do find that I play more with my wrist than I do with my arm. So this is a mouse where it kind of is what it is. It's very precise in my opinion. Uh, I've never had any issues. Actually, one of the best Warzone games, I'll link to that below. I got 18 kills using this mouse. So anyway, I really do like this mouse for the fact that it's small. It uses one AA battery, which I can swap out as soon as the battery is depleted. And one battery in this mouse has lasted me for up to six months when I used this mouse with my work computer. You do get a DPI switch in the middle, which you can press on it, and you do get DPI of up to 12,000, which you honestly won't be using. Everything just feels perfect about this mouse. It's small, it feels great in my hand, it has a nice rubber scrolly wheel, you do get a, again, a DPI switch, it uses one AA battery which you can swap out very fast by just taking off the top cover and putting in a new one. And best of all, no flashy LED lights which I find to be very tacky. This mouse just overall feels really good, it's maybe a little bit heavy in the hand but I don't mind that too much. Um, I'm more of a tight station user which means to say again that I do have a smaller desk and I just don't use a lot of space when I use my mouse so it works perfectly for me. Also to mention that this mouse is a relatively inexpensive mouse when you compare it to the other Logitech mice that are being sold on Amazon. But as with everything it's all about preference, it's about what you personally prefer and I personally prefer this mouse for the reasons that I gave previously in this video and I'll mention them again. It's for the size, the fact that it's a smaller mouse, the fact that I can swap out the batteries, and for the fact that there's no LED lights. And mind you, I do use this in my bedroom, so when I turn off the lights and go to bed, I don't have to see those annoying flashing LED lights, which I can't honestly stand. But anyway, that's just me. Go ahead, give this mouse a try. You can always return it if you don't like it. It's the Logitech G305, and I will have links to where you can purchase them on Amazon in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Anyway, that's my review on the Logitech G305. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.